today we're going to be talking about using exponential and logarithmic functions. And what this is, is this is just a whole lot of applications of what we've been doing pretty much the whole chapter. And keep in mind, this is when you're really going to use this stuff. Exponential and logarithm functions are actually one of the most useful types of functions that we cover. Okay, so exponential growth. You talk about bacteria and things like that growing in science class. An exponential growth function can be modeled as f of t equals a e to the kt. So our t is our variable. k is going to be our constant, and that's going to be calling, it's called the rate of growth. Okay, a is our initial value. And there's a difference between exponential growth and exponential decay. When you're decaying, your exponent is negative. So that's the only thing that's really different between these two models. Now remember, in the last section, I talked about the amount you have in an account when things are growing continuously. So that looks very similar. Okay, You have your initial amount A, your initial amount P, E, your R is the rate it's growing. Last chapter was, or last section, it was a percentage that I gave you guys. We're going to have to be finding K in this section, and then T. So it's very similar to what we've already talked about. Okay, the half-life of sodium, 22, is 2.6 years. Determine the value of K and the equation of the K for sodium, 22. So F of T is equal to A, E, it says it's an equation of decay, so I'm going to do negative K, T. If you forget that it's an equation of decay and you just put in the positive version, when you end up solving, you're just going to get a negative K, and then inherently you'll get the right answer. Okay, half-life. Half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of your sample to be there. So if I initially start with A amount, I'm looking for E to the negative K T. They tell me half-life is 2.6. I'm going to end up with half amount of my original. Okay? So half of the amount of the original, the original is A, so one half of A is what that should be. Now I divide both sides by A canceling those out. So I end up with one half equals e to the negative 2.6k. I need to solve for k. So solving for k, we do our natural logarithm of one half is equal to negative 2.6k dividing by negative 2.6 and again using my calculator 0.267. So that's what my k is. So my equation now as a function of time is that. Okay, in our next example, a geologist Examining meteorite determines that it contains only 10% as much of sodium-22 as originally contained when it reached the surface of the Earth. How long ago, so I'm looking for T, did the meteorite reach the Earth? Okay, so we're going to be using the equation that we came up with in the last problem. Okay, so... If my initial amount is A, and we are looking to find 10% of what originally existed, okay? Only about 10% as much as it originally existed. So again, if I divide by A on both sides, the A's cancel. So I have 0.1 equals E to the negative 0.267T. Now I do my natural log. Natural log of point 0.1 is equal to what my exponent is. And solving for t, 8.634 years. 
Okay, so it's using the past equation in this example. Okay, in 2007, the population of China was 1.32 billion. In 2000, it was 1.26. Determine the value of K and China's relative rate of growth. So let's make T equaling 0 B 2000. Okay, so then T equals 7 is going to be 2007. So they tell me then this is my initial amount. So plugging in, we know my initial amount is 1.26 E to the, it's a rate of growth, so it's KT. I need to solve for K. They tell me that in 2007 I was 1.32 amount of people, 1.26 E, I'm looking for K, and this was after seven years. So I divide by 1.26, I divide by 1.26. So I have this 1.32 divided by 1.26, I'm not finding that in my calculator yet, equals E to the 7K. Now I take the natural log, Okay. Or I should say, I should write that as a natural log. I have the natural log of 1.32 divided by 1.26 equals 7K. I divide by 7. So K is equal now to 0 0.0066. Okay. And K, that's our rate of growth. So now this is building on what we had. In 2007, the population was 1.32. In 2000, it was 1.26, so it's starting with what we had. So we have, we're going to be utilizing this equation Now we need to know when will China's population, so when, that's a T, will China's population be 1.5 billion people. So I know my ending amount <clears throat> I take and I divide by 1.26. You have to isolate that exponential piece. So I have 1.5 divided by 1.26 equals e to the point zero zero six six t now writing that as a natural logarithm the ln of 1.5 divided by 1.26 notice how I didn't find anything yet equals point zero zero six six t I divide by that So therefore, again, plugging in my calculator, I get 26.417 years. But now keep, keep in mind, I want to know the year, when. So my initial amount was in 2000. This is 26, year la 26 years later. So I would say we could say during 20. 26 because remember t equals 0 was the year 2000 okay there are your two lesson questions and please make sure those are submitted on time